Welcome back dear viewers. Today we embark on a poignant journey through the depths of one of the most heart-wrenching chapters in history, the partition of India and Pakistan. It is a tale that resounds with profound emotions, weaving a tapestry of anguish, despair and resilience. So let us step into the annals of the past and allow the echoes of these turbulent times to guide our narrative. Imagine, if you will, the haunting faces of those eight men who gathered on that fateful day. The weight of the world etched upon their brows. Jawaharlal Nehru, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and Louis Mountbatten each burdened with the immense responsibility of shaping the destinies of millions. Little did they know that their decisions, their signatures upon the agreement, set forth a series of events that would forever scar the lives of those in the subcontinent. As news of the impending partition spread, a cautious glimmer of hope mingled with the heavy fog of uncertainty. The people yearned for freedom, for self-determination, yet they could not foresee the tempest that loomed on the horizon. In a mere blink of an eye, the land they called home would be fractured, torn asunder by the arbitrary lines drawn on maps, a partition that sliced through the fabric of their existence. The provinces of Bengal and Punjab once teeming with intermingling cultures and shared histories became the epicenters of a catastrophic upheaval. Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs, who had coexisted for generations, now found themselves caught in the clutches of violence, their lives hanging by the thinnest of threads. The air, once filled with the melodies of unity and harmony, now reverberated with the anguished cries of broken souls. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, a deluge of suffering washed over the land. Villages were set ablaze, homes destroyed, and lives shattered beyond repair. Families torn apart by religious divisions were forced to abandon all they held dear, embarking on treacherous journeys into the unknown. The roads, once bustling with the rhythms of daily life, now bore witness to a sea of humanity, displaced, disoriented and desperate. Yet amidst the chaos and despair, stories of resilience emerged, flickering like fragile flames in the darkness. The survivors, scarred and weary, clung to the fragments of hope, piercing together their shattered lives amidst the ruins. They carried with them the memories of a time when unity prevailed, when love transcended religious divides, and they vowed to rebuild what was lost. But the scars of partition run deep etched not only on the physical landscape, but also on the collective psyche of a nation. The tales of unspeakable violence, of lives irrevocably altered, and of cherished bonds severed, continue to haunt generations. The pain, the grief, and the longing for what once was serve as a constant reminder of the depths of human suffering and the enduring power of resilience. As we approach the solemn occasion of the 75th anniversary of partition, let us pause to remember the lives that were lost, the sacrifices made and the indomitable spirit that emerged from the darkest of times. It is a time for reflection, for remembrance and for embracing the complexities of history with empathy and understanding. So my dear viewers, 
let us navigate the intricacies of this tragic tale, mindful of the emotions that flow through its veins. Let us honor the stories of those who bore witness to the tumultuous era of partition and let us together rewrite the narratives that have shaped our understanding of this pivotal moment. This concludes today's bulletin. Stay informed, stay connected, and maybe continue to learn from the past as we strive to shape a brighter, more compassionate future.